Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of fractions, decimals, and cubes, and how we can change between those forms. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So you might get a word problem that looks something like this. Uh, Whether man recorded 85 hundredths of an inch of rain, and they want to know what that quantity is going to be in a fraction. Well, when you have 85 hundredths, you see this 5 is in the hundredths place. So we literally can write this as a fraction, 85 over 100. Because 0 0.85, 85 hundredths, that equals 85 over 100. But it's never going to be as simple as that, because in 6th grade, we're always going to need to reduce or simplify. So you need to find a number that divides evenly in 85 and 100. And in this case, it's going to be 5s. Remember, whenever you reduce, you divide by a fraction that has the same numerator and denominator, 5 over 5, because 5 over 5 equals 1. Whenever you multiply it 5 by 1, you're not changing it, you're just making it look different. So we're going to divide this, we're going to make an equivalent fraction that's smaller, that's going to be 17 twentieths. So our answer, 17 twentieths, is equal to 0 0.85. They just don't look anything alike. But that's one way you can change from a decimal to a fraction. Let's look at another example. Here's another common type of problem. Juan spent $9 of his $15 allowance. What decimal, that's important, represents the fraction of his allowance that he spent? So we need to first figure out the fraction of his allowance that he spent. So a fraction needs to have a numerator and a denominator. So the numerator is going to represent how much money he spent, $9, out of how much money did he get in his allowance. 15. So he spent 9 fifteenths of his allowance. We need to turn this into a decimal. And so an easy way to turn a fraction into a decimal is simply to divide up. And so divide up literally means you take your denominator and you divide it into your numerator. So 15 goes into 9, doesn't go, but we're going to put a decimal here. And you can add as many zeros as you want to after the decimal because it doesn't change the value. And so that's going to go in six times. And that's actually going to go in evenly. So the decimal here is going to be 0 0.6. Now the question might be, what percent of his allowance did he spend? Well, once you have the decimal, it's easy to turn a decimal into a percent. You take your decimal, I'll write it again, 0 0.6, move the decimal place once, twice to the right. We can drop the zero right here, put a zero in the empty spot, and so he spent 60% of his allowance. Let's look at another example. Finally, you might need to change a percent into a fraction. If you're looking at what fractions equal 26%, it's actually two-step process. First, you need to change your percent into a decimal. So let's take our 26%. Whenever we want to change from a percent to a decimal, well, we just do the reverse of what we just did. You take your decimal and you move it twice to the left. Now, there is no decimal here that we see in 26%, so if we don't see it, it always goes after the ones place there. So we're going to take this, we're going to drop our percentage sign here, we're going to move it twice to the left. And we're going to get 0.26, or let's go ahead and write it as 0 0.26. That's the same as 26%. Now that's step one. Step two, now that we have our decimal, we can go ahead and write this as a fraction. Because this is 0 0.26, or 26 hundredths. So let's write this as a fraction, 26 hundredths. So now we have a fraction. 26% is the same as 26 hundredths, or 26 over 100. But as always, we need to see... Do we need to reduce? When in doubt, if they're both even, let's go ahead and divide by 2. Because remember, 2 over 2 is equal to 1. We're just going to make it look different. And that's going to be 13 fiftieths. So 13 fiftieths is the same as 26%. Now it's time for you to try. Take a moment, pause the video, make these three changes, and then unpause the video to check your work. For this first problem, we divided up. 25 goes into 8. And our answer was 0 0.32. For the second one, 7 to 3 percent, that equals 0 0.73, which is 7 to 3 over 100. Can't reduce, that's the simplest form. And then finally, 0 0.34 to a fraction. Well, 0 0.34 is 34 over 100. We did have to reduce that, and the answer is 17 over 50.